Let us go over real quick what it's like when a stepper motor begins to fail. The problem may not be a stepper motor, but the symptoms of it failing make it seem like something else is going on. Putting my hand here and holding on to it tightly. It feels like it's pulsing, but it's not moving anything. At first thought, I wondered if there was too much drag force on the bed. But when I touch these things, everything moves oh so smoothly with very little resistance. Like, yeah, it's just barely keep my finger on top of that. Yeah, and the whole thing is moving. It's pretty easy. That's a pretty good amount of movement. So what is the deal? What is going on? Why does it... When I try to move it. So, let's start with the diagnostics. Luckily, I have motor number two right here. Let's try it. Can you not see that? maybe from this angle. It isn't spinning, it's jerking. Something isn't working right. However, everything seems tight. I can't move it, I can't rotate it, and everything seems to be as it should. Let's try something else. Creality is very nice. They gave you these, and look, it says Y on it right here. And I have an extra one. This says Z. That is for that motor right there. It has another one that's right there off camera. <laughs> and I'm going to unplug it. Oops, I'm going to unplug it. Can you see it? Can, can, I, can I move it right here? Look, it's right here. Ah, it's just off camera. I'll move camera. Ah, there it is. This is the other Z because I have a dual Z. What I want to do is test it. If you're worried about V-Ref, don't be for short tests. For long, enduring tests, do be worried about V-Ref. Okay, so both motors are doing it. Now let's have it with a different access. You might think, oh, it's the controller now. The controller is giving me problems. Wait a minute. What just happened? Look at that. Look at it from this angle now. That is what is supposed to happen. But why isn't it happening here? Okay, let's try it. Again. Oh, look at no more noise. I hear the whole thing vibrating. You can't see it because I've uncoupled it, taking all of the strain off of that motor. So let's look at it. Hey, focus, please. Metal has such a hard time focusing on a camera. Come on now. That moved beautifully. So, in a problem like this, the issue is not the motor. It is not bad hardware. Well, it is bad hardware, but it's not your bad motion system. It's not a bad controller. What is it? This is a bad cable. That's all it is. This ages out. How old are these printers? How long have you been running them? How long does it take before something like that begins to wear out? It's copper. It's metal. If you work it enough, it will snap. And that is exactly what's happening. So inside the sheath of this wire, 
well, this is the Z. I'm using this as an example. Inside the sheath of that Y wire, the cables are no longer making contact. Now, I could verify this with a voltometer, but I'm going to be honest with you. It's encased on the other side, right here, and I've got to do more disassembling to get into it because that's how cases are. They're secure. And they don't want you inside of them. So I will open it up and replace the cable, and that will fix the problem. And how am I sure of that? Because I tested it with a different cable. A different cable does not have the problem. And I have been working on this Y drive chain for the better part of a year. I have taken it off, put it on, taken it off, and put it on probably over a hundred times. And as you can imagine, that little wire is getting a little worn, a little tired, and it's not making contact anymore. For some reason, we could research it if we want. The conclusion is a bad cable. And it makes the motor behave like a grindy, failing mess. Like someone is stopping it from moving and fighting it the whole time. Just a bad cable. A simple issue and a simple fix. And that happens with these steppers. If you've already moved past the ye old Creality S, 10S, V2... My V2's over here. If you've moved past those, you probably do not have this problem. But if you have a machine that is two or three years old, these problems can start to crop up. So be aware of them. And that is the fix for them. Are, are you curious about my little case mod here? This is something that uh, was designed by somebody else that I had modified. Can you see me all right? <laughs> this is something that was designed by somebody else that I had modified and cleaned up so that it actually worked <laughs> for its intended person. Bless the heart of the individual that started this project. They did a lot of the leg work, leg work and I kept it. Oops, got one more plug. And I kept it as per their original design, but I cleaned up the holes. I made sure that they were no longer blind holes. They went all the way through, organized them in a way that was going to be more effective for maintenance, regular maintenance. Come take a look at this. So here it is, easily maintenanced using original Creality parts. Because remember the Creality had a separate case. Anyway, here is the Y cable. Pretty sure this is fine because of this mess of wire is holding in very well. And this is one of the modifications I was talking about doing. Um, this is a secondary modification that I did after the fact that I realized that the hole needed to be a different size. I did something like, you know, make the hole small for the power cords and separate. I fixed this side in a 3D model. This is just the temp fix so I didn't have to reprint the whole thing. This is using the original grommet from the case. And this is where it's coming out of all the way back there to the back of my CR-10S5. So that's probably a 100 centimeter, 1 meter cable that I'm going to replace. And if you would like or are interested in this case mod, I did it for both my V2 back here. And this CR-10S5 with the display, the 12864 display, at a 45 degree angle because the bed travels in this direction. But this printer is honking huge and will sit off the end of this honestly rather deep table. Uh, so turning it 90 degrees, having the display stick right here. This is the USB port. These are the extended legs. You could shove crap under here like a good person. Because it is so big, it's nice to have a little extra storage, I'll be honest with you. I printed these in the hopes that I would use them more often, but every time I print one off and I attach it, I take it off because I use the space for something else. But anyway, space is good, right? Anyway, I'm going to link that below so that you can download it if you want. It's just on Thingiverse. Look at this behemoth. Big boy! CR-10 S5, 500 millimeters in all directions. 
and I am still putting it together. It has been a project. I have rebuilt it, assembled it. This linear ball screw is working so well until the cable fa failed. I thought it was the linear rails. It wasn't. Oops. Oh, well. Projects like these sometimes just take so long. You do a little piece to make a little change. I well, see our 10 S5 is a big printer and having it stable now. And fixing this little problem. <laughs> I was so mad. <laughs> I was like, what's stopping it from happening? You should imagine that frustration. Hey, this is now talking about the problem. I've already shown you the solution. You just replace the cable. I hope it's that easy for you too. Now that I've got it out, I can go replace it. And, oh, I'll talk about one other thing I did. This is fun. I'm sliding over here. I made these. I'm sure someone else may have made them, but these use M4 bolts and T-nuts. Can you see it? Right here? Zip timeouts. I was originally using this sticky backed type. Oh, those are fine. But not for an ongoing project. I have to take them off and move them. And I'll link those too, because I ended up liking them. Uh, there's 15 millimeter and 20 millimeter, so they sit perfectly on the side of your rails. The 15 millimeter is unique for the CR-10 S5 because it has a bed reinforcement, a um, frame that goes all the way around the outside, and it is 15 millimeter extruded rail instead of 20 millimeter. I'm going to see it real quick. There it is. That was for more of these, which I am hesitant to use. To explain why I'm hesitant to use it, it's because... Uh, the bed gets to 50 degrees, 100 degrees Celsius, and that is way beyond the softening temperature of PLA, which is what I printed those on. So if you were to print it out of ABS or something that could withstand 80 degrees on a regular basis, you'd probably do much better with the 15 millimeters. So, you know, do it as you please. What else is there to talk about here? Want to see anything else? I could make more. I need to. I need to make a video of the V2 because many people have been following that and the modifications I have done on that. Yeah, there's been a lot. <laughs> in the works, in the works, in the works. I promise, I promise. That's enough about the CR-10 S5 and that failing motor and something to keep an eye out for. Hey, bye-bye. Thanks for stopping by. Like and subscribe. The subscribe button shimmer. Is it doing that for you too? Yeah, every time someone says subscribe, like Google says, oh, do subscribe, and they shimmer it. I think it's a really neat thing. It tells you how far technology is advanced and is listening to everything you do. Oh, oh, oh. scary.